Today we're back in Trailmaker's Sandbox and I want to try and see if we can break the speed of sound. Now I know a lot of people break the speed of sound doing a lot of different things including strapping a lot of engines to a lot of different vehicles but I figured we could go up as high as we can and see if we can break the speed of sound simply by falling. We've got the new balloons now which allow us to go straight up relatively quickly. So I feel like we could just drop ourselves in a cockpit, make it super aerodynamic, and have absolutely no thrust and still break the speed of sound before we hit the ground. So we're just going to start right away with just a basic cockpit. And, you know, I think the most efficient thing to do is just to use a proper aerodynamic cockpit and we'll tilt that down. And we're just going to try dropping this on its own. We're not going to put any sort of you know, extra stuff in it, whatever. We're just going to leave it. Uh, we'll put a couple of detachment blocks. We'll just duplicate that to make sure it's symmetrical. Uh, and we'll, of course, put a block here like this just to keep this symmetrical. And I'm doing this because I know the mount points for the balloons are uh, a little bit different. So if we put a balloon on either side, uh, there we go. And then, you know, let's just, let's just duplicate this up a bunch. That should work. Lots of balloons, doesn't matter. What's our detachment button? It's E. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna just go up as high as we can. We're gonna detach and fall and see how fast the cockpit gets going, what happens. So here we go, full speed up. Go up at a nice speed of 370 kilometers an hour. I have no idea when to drop. I don't even know if there's a limit to the height of this map, to be honest. I guess we'll just go for a while and then maybe, you know, we'll just, we'll just wait for a couple minutes. The sky's getting weirdly red. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just... Oh, oh, there is a grid. Okay, there's a grid. That's what the red is. So the sky does have a limit. I can't tell how close we are to the top. We're still moving up. Slow down. Alright, that's probably good enough. Let's press E here. Uh-oh. Okay, I think we need to, we need to make that scrap. And that way it'll disappear. Uh, but we're falling. Now this isn't aerodynamic. We gotta put some- it's actually staying relatively- oh, now it's gonna start to rotate. Yeah, we might need a weight on the front to keep it nose down, and we definitely need some sort of, like, a nose cone. We're going about 300, okay. It's not, that's not really that fast. We went faster up than down, but this isn't aerodynamic at all. Let's, you know what, let's go back to the bottom. We know this is going to be slow. It does reach terminal velocity. The thing with this is, we're basically trying to get the fastest terminal velocity possible. At some point in time, we are always going to reach the point where, um, you know, the wind resistance equals the f the speed we're falling at. Uh, I want to make... I think I'm gonna make a nose cone three wide. Just to cover up this dome piece as well. Alright, and then we gotta make some aerodynamic wedges. We'll just do some four by one wedges. I feel like this is... This is really where it's at, right? Like this. Perfect. Alright, excellent. I feel like that'll fall really quick, kind of like a bullet. And then we need to make this scrap, so if we go and grab these two and select make scrap, perfect, that will get rid of all the extra nonsense when we land, and for some reason I duplicated them. Alright, perfect. So let's, uh, let's just save this, although we don't really need to, and let's just see what happens here. Let's go all the way up again. We're gonna try and get right to the skybox, and I'm just gonna push right up against it and see what happens. All right, we're getting back to the top. I'm gonna slow down. It's so hard to judge the distance to that that skybox here. And okay, okay, something like that. I think we're close. And let's just drop. That all scraps. Here we go. Let's pick up some speed. I think we're already yeah already faster than what we were before. Oh man, we are actually we're actually accelerating really quick here. This is awesome. Six hundred. Like, we need to get to 1200 something, like 12, I want to say like 1230 or something like that. Oh man, it, I don't know, is this going to do it? Are we going to actually just get this first try? That would be amazing. It's still accelerating. We still haven't hit air resistance point. Now it's slowing down the acceleration. Oh my god, we're going to hit the ground! 1200! 1222. Oh my god, that was so close. I think what we got to do is, is really simple. We're just going to take the same design. And I think what we gotta do is just delete all this stuff at the top and spread these out, you know, horizontally and try and get as close to the skybox as we can. I really don't want to put any thrust on this at all. And uh, I don't know if we can actually do this without putting some sort of a thrust because we're limited by the height of the map. So let's just 
try and spread these out as much as possible. And yeah, like maybe that's maybe that's the solution. I don't know. I really hope this works. If not, I don't know how we can accelerate this. Maybe we could like kick it with a piston or something. More, more weight? I don't think more weight would make it fall faster. Would it? I don't you know what? Let's just let's just try it. There's nothing to lose, right? With extra weight. I mean we just just go like that. It's still aerodynamically sound. Doesn't change the aerodynamic profile at all. I I don't know. I feel like that'll work. Maybe a little bit extra weight. Who knows? Let's go up. All right, perfect. Oh my god, this is so slow. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Let's uh, it's because it's got such a huge surface area. Let's try just adding more balloons. Got a huge surface area and a huge weight. Oh man, I I would rather go slow though and not hit the ceiling. But let's just let's just really expand this out. There we go. All right. Let's go a little faster. It's still, oh my god, it's still only 120. All right. Well, I'll see you in five minutes when we finally get to the roof. Oh, no. Oh, this is the worst. This is going to be good. Wait. Oh, I lost I lost half the thing. Hold on. There we go. Good old mid-air repair. Perfect. Awesome. Honestly, I feel like this is exactly what it must be like when you go up in one of those weather balloons. Like the guy who jumped out of the weather balloon and landed on Earth with a parachute. I, I feel like this is this is exactly what that trip must have felt like. The good news is we'll get down to the ground very quickly. It's just a very long process to get up here. I, I like I can still see the ground, and I know we have to get completely away from the ground before the red skybox even becomes visible. So this is going to be a very, very long process. Now, I know people are going to be like, adding more mass in real life doesn't make something fall faster. Um, you know, and that's true in a vacuum. Everything falls at the same speed in the vacuum. Uh, aerodynamics and, and weight makes a little bit of a difference. To be honest, this is a video game, so I have no idea if adding more weight will make it accelerate faster or not. Hence why I'm just trying it. But I'm just, I'm picturing people raging right now about the whole thought of adding weight to make something fall faster. And uh, I just hope it works in Trailmakers, to be honest, because otherwise, like, I don't want to propel this, and I don't I don't think there's a way to make it fall quicker. Maybe the weight will help. We can't make it any more aerodynamically sound. The 4x1s are the most aerodynamic block, I believe, in the whole game. So, unless we've got, like, a 10 by one somewhere, I think we're pretty much stuck with this. We're still... This is, this is very slow. This, it doesn't even, it feels like we're just in some abyss right now. Oh, I think I see red. Does that, it seems like it's getting redder. This is perfect. This is perfect. I'm gonna, oh, I can see the red. Thank goodness. Okay, I can slow down a little bit. Oh, this is wonderful. We want to get right up to the top as close as we can. I don't know what happens if we touch it. I don't know if we'll just jam up against it or not. I kind of don't want to touch it because I'm scared. It's red. It seems like it'll probably just kill me. But let's just get really close to it here. I don't want to... If we touch it and I die, then we have to go all the way back to the bottom. And I just I just don't... I don't want to do that again. All right. We're getting close. Getting super, super close gonna rise at like 10 kilometers an hour oh no we're going down at 10 kilometers an hour going up okay we're almost there we're gonna get as close as possible this thing has nice nice calm movement though it's really good in that sense all right we're like right at the roof okay let's drop all right all right let's see I don't know if we're accelerating any faster. It doesn't seem like it. Seems like Trailmakers might have the everything falls at the same speed physics going on. Which makes sense. Aerodynamics, we're good. This is a very quiet trip. There's no sound at all. There's no engines. There's no nothing. 1,000. 1,100. Oh, the ground's coming so quick. 12. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> That's so good! Oh, that's so awesome! I can't believe it. That was the easiest. That was the easiest thing I've ever done. It takes so much more effort to break the speed of sound going sideways than going up and down. Up and down, you just you just drop something and you're good to go. It goes sideways. It takes so much more more time. I want to do that again, but I really don't want to have to ride the stupid. Wait, maybe there's a way. Hold on. What if we just 
Oh, yeah, it just gets smashed a lot. That's fine. What if we just um, add some thrusters to go up? Wonderful. Full speed. And then full thrust. It literally makes us go, like, no faster. One, one, one... God, aerodynamics is such a thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's the worst. Ah, all right, well, attempt number two. I'll see you in another five minutes, I guess. Here we are, back to the top. Close enough. I don't think we're... There we go. Oh! Oh, it almost drifted all the way up. All right, we're falling. You know, it's really quite... <laughs> Not an eventful fall, really. You're just kind of... Oh, I can pitch. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Don't want to pitch too much. I want to keep that aimed straight down. Yes, please. Oh, did I screw it up? Is that amount of pitch just enough to screw it up? I forgot that there's air control on this seat. This is so good. It's so fast. Wow, that's... <laughs> and... We're dead. Well, that was a pretty quick episode, to be honest. I kind of was expecting that to take a lot more effort. Uh, turns out you just slap some weights onto something and it'll fall, and uh, it's pretty easy. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, Cosmo and I are still playing Trailmakers Airborne. I really, really enjoy it. So let us know what you guys think, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time.